بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello everyone and welcome to This is Football Welcome to another special edition show ladies and gentlemen Yes the international break is here That does not mean that you're going to be bored That does not mean that you won't have your dose of daily entertainment From This is Football So everyone watching us right now or on the replay You guys already know the drill. Make sure you slap the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're yet to do so. Every single person watching us right now, please stop what you're doing. Hit the like button and subscribe to This Is Football. Um, big up to you guys. Slap up the likes. Subscribe. Get your opinions in. Uh, you know, let us know your thoughts. All of that good stuff. Because we want to hear from you guys. We want to hear your opinions as we do these player ratings. Now... Before we get started, there's two super chats sent by Ryan that I cannot put up on the screen. One, he says Nunes has been our player of the season after Ali. The second one, he says Oro Man, Oro Man, Perfume Man, our worst pound for pound. Well, that are a few harsh words, my brother. So big up to you guys. Big up to, to, to Tariq, Barry, Mohamed Ammar, big up UM, big up Chelsea Fanatic, Danny Abdred, Staroon, Ali, uh, Khuram, Khazir, Ian, Qusay, Halawalla, big up to Sidi, Namzo, Amirali, Indian Scouser, Sophia, Enosh, this time. It genuinely wasn't my fault. And I know this is what they call the devil that cried wolf or whatever, because it's usually my fault that I'm late. But this time it's actually Tom Little's fault, you know? He got us stuck in traffic because he's a bozo, but he made it and we are out here. So joining us on the channel is none other than the man, the myth, the legend. The man himself, Thomas Little. How are you doing, Habibi? Um... I'm good. I'm good. First time I actually talking about Liverpool in a while. You know, I've been trying to avoid the topic. I've even been, I've even delved into the NBA before I decided I wanted to talk about this club. So yeah, good to be here. Good to um, rate Ice Spice and Bambi on Ice in the lowest possible category that we can do, and enjoy. Let me ask you a question because you know I've got the tier list ready here. But here's the genuine question I want to ask you: Should we just keep it like? A, B, C, D, E, F, or like, should we create different names for them? A, B, C, D, I think you need A, B, C, D. You don't need an E. I don't, I, who's going to go in E? I think you need A, B, C, D. Yes. I need another category, which is just Ice Spice and Bambi on Ice, and those two can go sit in there. No, but do, I mean, like, do you mean to here we have, like, you know, amazing shit like that? No, because that very good. But what what are we gonna name D? What's the D's here? This is all I want to tell you. Good. Average. <laughs> Sell immediately. How about that? By those standards, there's gonna be about three people in the upper tiers. <laughs> okay, we will see. We will agree on that. We will agree on that. Don't worry. Um, so Thomas Little. While I quickly just restart my stream yard because it's lagging, um, you are going to talk to the people on just on your thoughts on on the season post-World Cup. My thoughts on the season post-World Cup. <laughs> you don't know what I've been like post-World Cup. Um, there's been a lot of discussion about the manager, the tactics, the... Personnel, just everything. It's been about that. So it's it's gotten to a point where this Liverpool team I've enjoyed talking about for years, and right now I don't really want to talk about it. That's how bad this world post World Cup pace has been. Post World Cup, we've been a bit better. There have been horrible moments and great moments, which we'll address now in a second. Big up to us, brother. Says brother we lost 3 0 to Wolves. It never gets lower than 3 0 to Wolves. We beat 7 0 Man United, also. We have to be real. That was an in incredible moment. We've got to be real, Tom. We've got to be real. Um, <laughs> Ram Ramadan Mubarak, Big Cherry, what do you make for Iftar? First of all, you will not address me as that because I will go like you. Thank you for the super chat. And second of all, uh, what did I make for Iftar? I had. Uh, Lamb kofta, basically, or not actually beef kofta with with rice. I don't know if you know what kofta is, but big up to you guys. Um, so look, this is what we've settled on for for as of this second. So we're gonna link it over here, and once again, this is a reminder to everyone. I want you to get involved, and you must remember that this is only post World Cup. 
this is not for the entire season. This is just post World Cup. So we come back from from the World Cup in Qatar. I want to know your rating for when we come back from Qatar. That is it. It's a very simple thing. You get me? So slap up the likes. Big up Usman. Big up Ryan. Thank you for the super chats. Big up to everyone who sends in the super chat. Most importantly, please like and subscribe and get involved because there is a few players here that we're going to do a deep dive into. Um, now, Adrian hasn't played any game. We ain't going to, you know, how are you saying too small? You want me to zoom in even more? Good now, 150%. It cannot be bigger than this, my brother. Anyway, so Adrian, here's the thing. I think me and Tom agree on this why, one. Why, why are we giving him air time? Just get, get yeah, him in the bottom category and move on. Sell immediately. You know what it is? I just want to say quickly on Adrian. You know, I'm a very forgiveful person. There's a few things I won't forgive in my life. Genuinely, I will never, ever forgive. Never, ever forgive. Adrian for that Atletico game because I don't by the way people mock haha Anfield blah 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 Anfield did this job Anfield did this job we were 2-0 up and then Adrian decides to just take the ball and give it to Marcus Llorente I will never forgive him I will never ever forgive him for that mistake just saying so we should this have is one where we're gonna... do, do you know what though I, I still have reservations about that Champions League because if we had the other fixture schedule we would have won that Champions League because you wouldn't have had to play the second leg. Yeah, I do. By the way, no one would have beat us. I'm gonna be real with you. Ah, oh, we, we were good that year. We should have won. Yeah, no one would have beat year. us. That would have been a double right there. That would have been a double, honestly. You know what? Let me let me let me add an extra tier. I'm gonna be real with you. How to add an extra tier? I don't to add. I think it's near the top or something. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna show you where. Uh, add a row below. And color it like where's oh black? Are you on black? Yeah, just go black. Oh, look at this, it colored the wrong. Oh, way. You, you've gone horrifically wrong. Oh, it's all gone wrong. The sound card on the stream. Oh, there you are. There you are. Garbage, just call it garbage. Oh, yeah, because I can read that sound, can I? Oh, wow. So, but why did you suggest black then? I didn't, you were the one who said it. There you are. Now done. Garbage. Just put why, why, garbage. why are average and sell immediately the same color? Tom, are you like sat here like some sort of fashion guy? Yeah, very much so. You're out here editing colors and stuff. Mm hmm. Okay, first of all, it's not the same color. It's two different a colors. Average, average and sell immediately are the same different. Are the same there, colors. You are. there you go. Green. Happy now? Yeah. Now should be so. clear. Now should be clear. <laughs> so everyone here agrees. So just put Adrian in the garbage section. So now there's a guy we probably disagree on. I'm gonna be real with you, Tom. We are 100 mm -hmm. gonna disagree, and that is none other than this man right here, Trent Alexander Arnold. So Thomas Little, mm -hmm. post World Cup, I've got an unpopular opinion. You're gonna say he's been our best outfield player or something, aren't you? No, I am going to say, and because you, this is how I will see if you're full of crap or not. Let me bring this guy right next to him. Let me bring mm -hmm. him and his partner in crime next to him. Here's the thing when it comes to Trent. I'm going to be honest with you. I think Trent has been our best defender, not called Alisson, post-World Cup. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to be real with you. Besides the Brighton series, which he got absolutely roasted by Mitoma, he's been very good. He's actually been very good in the games. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not how I would rank. I'd say Trent's been good because you've actually seen the elements of his attacking game. And my Andy Robertson goes sit in average because he's not been as good as Trent. So you wouldn't put... Uh... Robertson and Sell. Why would I put Andy Robertson in Sell? I don't understand. You know, you know this this fan base. They've got something for Andy Robertson. I just don't understand. I just don't understand why. why because, be, what, because our other what? option is Costa Simicas, who doesn't understand what fucking goal side means. No, but Simicas is literally better than Robertson. What he's got a better crossing range. That's it. Robertson's yeah, a better yeah. defender, and he's, the 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 difference in attacking game does not equal the difference in defensive game. 
I why understand. do people want why are people so angry at Trent but they have zero anger towards Robertson that's what I don't understand because Genuinely. again that is misguided you, you're not I'm not going to sit there and say oh yeah they're right for that no it's just that people attack down Trent's side because he's weaker defensively Andy Robertson is a better defender has he been better than Trent post World Cup obviously not but I'm not going to sit there after a bad six months not even six months what are we in March Two and a half months and go get him out the door because Andy Robertson's still a good lad. He still has the most assists out of our squad. And there this you season. are. There you are. There we go. GA again. GA. Typical Thomas Little tactic there. That That's exactly what we've judged Trent on for the past four years. No, I'm not judging Trent based on GA. I'm saying his overall performance has been good. Again, yes, that's fine. But in the, I'm not talking about this season. Since in the past four years, we have judged Trent based on the amount of assists he gets. Isn't Andy good Robinson. and average the same thing? Should I change average to like not good? No, because average would I think you need a bad category. Like a bad, but I wouldn't sell them sort of thing. Yeah, bad. But bad is such a basic word, bro. Let me find synonym for bad. What shit? No, no. Synonym for bad. Substandard. Was it not the Inadequate. Athletic, I don't need those same, just put bad. And just put substandard. That one sounds nicer. Can't lie to you. Let me just put substandard. That's the that's the best one. So you agree that Robertson basically has been substandard. <coughs> no. <coughs> yes and no. I think he's been substandard by his high levels, but I think he's been average based on the level that we've put out. I think I think he's gotten just like there. He, he's been. Do you agree with this? Basically? Right That's the yeah. Question. No. I, again. Yeah. I agree with Trent being better than Robertson post World Cup. I'm not going to argue that. I can lie to you. He has been. You know. You know. The the thing is for the right back and the left back position. All jokes aside, I think just because there's so much like attention on Trent, we always seem to criticize him directly. Like we always seem to like. Oh, look. Here's the moment where this guy dribbled past him. Or oh, here's the moment where this guy did done this to him, done that to him. But we never actually have real conversations about Andy Robertson because Andy Robertson has been the definition of inconsistent this season for me. One game, he's absolutely incredible, like Aston Villa. And then you've got the Leicester at home game, which he possibly could have been the worst player in this whole squad. Honestly speaking, like... Oh, no. See, I'm not buying that because Jordan Henderson, like Keenan Dewsby Hall, run past him like he was prime Zinedine Zidane. That was I understand Ro- Robertson hasn't hit his high standards, but I think to call Robertson inconsistent isn't fair. I think attacking-wise, yeah, he hasn't been as consistent attacking-wise, but Andy Robertson is a fantastic defender. And the biggest thing that I can give him is who is the big player in the league this year? It's Saka. And Mm -hmm. Costa Simicas had one game against Saka, just the one. And he conceded two goals to Bakao Saka. Andy yeah, Robertson has had are. six are. and hasn't. How are you blaming Simicas for any of them goals? You are so shameless beyond measure. When I say I blame him, I'm just. So he just said he conceded against him. You know good and damn well, no, no goal was his fault. Right. If, as a fullback, the winger is my man. If the winger scores, my man has scored. That's the basics of it. You are so full of you know what, honestly. It's just, it's just this typical. I thought scouts are stick together. Big up to Khusai who says this season has been I so bad. I have said Trent's been better. I've backed Trent more. <laughs> Feels like being hit in the balls. Some inflicted to be specific. Trent has been a culprit in 80% of our losses lately. Khusai, that is such cap. Trent was not the culprit in the Madrid defeats. Trent was not the culprit in, in, in the Bournemouth defeat. <laughs> Trent was not the culprit in the Wolves defeat. Come on, Kusai, man. Allow, see, this is what I'm saying. This is why I over-defend him. Because the, he gets over-attacked. I'm going to be real. People just do too much when it comes to Trent. Like, they cannot have objective conversations. Big up to you. Also, guys, there's 100 people watching us. We ain't even on 50 likes yet. Guys, what's going on here? What's going on? This is this is, this is football. Slap the like button right now. Subscribe to this football. Minimum 50 likes. Slap up that like button. Big up Kosai, Usman, and Ryan for the super chats. So I think we're, we're probably on agreement on this. Like, I think Trent's been good. And Robertson's been substandard. Tr- this tr- is post Trent, Trent's Cup been around. good. Trent's been good, but he's still not hit his levels. Like the levels Bro, that I expected. Tom, if we're going to use he's not hit his levels logic, 
no one is going to be in good or very good. Exactly. No Again, I've not said move him down it yet. I'm just saying that by the standards of this season, we've just... No one is in their true categories bar Allison. We've been that stinky. No, I, I, I agree with that. But that is exactly why Trent isn't good. I'm not saying anything amazing, brother. I'm just saying good. So, uh, do you not use the custom layout for StreamYard yet? What do you mean, custom layouts? They had like a thing the other, the other day where you can move the cameras, so you could move all these cameras to the right side, so we're not blocking categories. Oh. Um, edit layout? Yeah, edit layout, and then it allows you to move the cameras. Okay, so I... But how do I move us, then? Let me get this comment out of the way. But I can't, oh. I'm not controlling it right now. Oh. But I, there you go, see? But how do I move us right and left, then? So you just click on us and then drag us? But I'm dragging us up and down. I can, but I cannot drag us right and left. I can't. I, I did it last night at 11 o'clock. There you are. Do it again. There you are. Hey, hey, hey. Make us a bit bigger because they've got to see my beautiful face up in here. So, basically, this is it, guys. Right here. Boom. Or should, 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 should I think this is good, right? Like this? Yeah, this is good. So basically, uh, you need to save layout then at the bottom. Have you saved the layout? Yeah, save new layout. Call it tier list. Yep, yeah, and then it'll put it right at the bottom. You know the list, you know those things at the bottom where you got Boom. all these different. There you go. See? All that. I, I'm like a pro stream. You know, fella, now that I've started stream. Oh my God. You're so full of crap. What would you do so, without me? So, do you agree on the Trent Robertson thing? <laughs> Where's he gone? <laughs> Where's he gone? <laughs> I don't know if he's <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Where's he gone? Oh, for Christ's sake. Uh... <laughs> Is the share screen even gone, like? Yes, it always. Wow. So you were just top right by yourself like that? Yes. <laughs> wow. Anyway, so here we are now. The thing is back. Uh, I think this is probably a good layout for us, right? Would you agree or should we make ourselves bigger? Uh, if nah, anything, I go good. smaller. But this is oh, fine. No, nah, no, nah, this is this good, this good size right here. Uh, so yeah, as I said, guys, slap up the like. So you agree, right, with the trend trumps thing you said? Yes, like I've said four times already. Yes, Trent okay, okay. Why are you mad for? Why are you mad for? Next, just because I defend Alison. Robertson doesn't mean that I think Trent's been crap. Yes, Allison. If anything, I'd give Allison his own tier. No, but then there's another guy that might end up here. Darwin Nunes has not been as good as Allison. No, I'm not talking about Darwin Nunes. Mohamed Salah has not been as good as Allison. No, I'm not talking about Salah. You'll find out later. But anyway, no, and I, I, I've clocked with this. It's all right. He's still not been as good as Allison, though. But based on his level, you've got to put him there. But honestly, now on Alison Becker, and this is a chance for the comment section as well. Where where we would be this whole season? I know this is just post World Cup. This whole season, where would we be, be, be? Like, where would we be without Alison? Honestly, about fifteenth, sixteenth. Like I I I'd say probably post World Cup, Alison messed up, maybe in the. In the like, in the Madrid game at home. But other than that, what, honestly, Wolves bro, well. Wolves as well. You, you know what's mad? Even like Man United, Arsenal, whatever fans are coming out and saying, basically, Allison's in the team of the season. <laughs> it makes me think like the fact that Liverpool have been this horrible and people are still putting Allison, you know, uh, in the team of the season tells me all I need to know. Genuinely, like the Allison thing, like. I actually feel bad for him at a point because how many one on ones does he have to save? Like how many? How many? Like it's just insane. Imagine we just had a keeper like just one tier below Allison. We honestly would be in such a horrible state, like beyond measure. Be if we had an average goalkeeper, we'd be fucked. No, no, that's the plain and simple of it. If we had an, a bang average goalkeeper, run of the mill keeper, we would be in so much shit because our style of play needs Allison Becker. When you talk about the most important plays in this team. You could replace Salah and you'd see a drop off, but it's manageable. You could replace Van Dyke and you'd see a drop off, but it's manageable. You could replace 
Thiago. Mm, I would, Kopp I would, knowledgeable. I would disagree you, with the Van Dyke thing. You replace Allison. No chance. No chance. But the way we play, with the shit we put him through, there's no goalkeeper in the world. I'd rather Honestly. have. Honestly, if we had Ederson in goal, I, I promise you we'd be in the relegation zone right now. And there you are from Kosai once again, Trent hatred, which is why I defend him. Trent literally gets destroyed defensively, humiliated, criticized, rightfully so. You two are a cute couple, by the way. Hussam and we're going to propose. That is the most horrible thing you could say, specifically in this holy month, Kosai. And second of all, Trent the whole exposed defensively, blah, blah, blah. Once again, I hold my hand up. Brighton, he was crap. FA Cup Premier League. Other than that, where has he been bad defensively? Madrid at home, it was not him. If you actually speak honestly, it genuinely wasn't him. And then the other games, I think he was actually one of our better players, probably. Even against Bournemouth, he didn't have a bad game. I'll be real with you. Like, it's always strength, hatred, 24 7. We, we, are, we are dealing with post World Cup. That's the thing. And yeah. pre World Cup, he was dog shit. I'm going to yeah. hold it. Even as a scouser who will defend him to the hills and back, he was crap. But post World Cup, he sorts himself out. He's been better defensively. The thing is, people expect Trent Alexander Arnold to be the best in the world defensively and the best in the world attacking. And he's yeah, not used to both and Maldini basically. combined. We're yeah. always going to have a right back who isn't as good defensively as he good as he is as good attacking wise. You just have to take that. So this is what it is. I I still think he's been better than Robertson. I don't think Robertson deserves the shit he gets, but I think he's been better oh, than Robertson. Oh, my God. So, you know, if it were up to me, I'd do this. I'm going to be real with you. Out of respect for you, I'm just putting him a tier above. But you see this Robertson stuff. Honestly, don't get me started, Tom, because you will trigger me. I'm going to be real with you. It's very triggering, this Robertson conversation. Everyone just acts like, oh, Robertson, brave heart, up and down the pitch. He's crap, bro. And I'll remind you of this. If, 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 we, if we put Costa Simkas at left back for 10 games in a row... In the way we put Robertson in, he'd do better than I, Robertson. I promise. No, we wouldn't. No, we would. Yes, is, is, would. Is, is crossing would be better. I can see that. Is crossing would be better. But this is Costa Simicas. Nunes would be on five more goals just because of Simicas. Okay, that's fantastic, Sam. But if you've got Trent Alexander Arnold being the attacking fullback, and need the fullback who's better defensively. Costa Simicas is not good defensively. I and I don't think you, I don't think you can argue that because you know as well as I do. The man barely knows what a goal side of his man is. And that will kill us, especially when our defence is so bad. You so know, Tom, yes, I just and, we actually need good. another uh, tier list as well. We're going we're to have about 24 different levels. One I'm player, really one. Up his basement, right here. Up his basement. There, there needs to be different tiers. Do, oh, do you want to know what, Hassan? Do you want to know what? I was going to call some shit with this because I know who's next. It's Fabio Carvalho, isn't it? Yes. I the tier list up on me on one. I was gonna put him in. I was gonna put him in very good. Oh God, how? Because he's only played a half of football, and in that half of football, he scored against Man City. I'm gonna be real with you. Fabio been in Klopp's basement. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is the only correct answer because he hasn't even had a chance to play. He deserves so much better than the shit we're giving him. I'll tell you that much. He deserves so much better than what we're giving him. Fabio Carvalho won Championship Young Player of the Year. We're not talking about some youngster who doesn't know how to handle pressure or doesn't know how to deal with, you know, the intensity and everything. This is a player who knows how to do it. Fabio Carva, again, of course you're doing this, Sam. Yep, yep, yep. Who has the most assist? I, I, I could be shameless with Andy Robertson. I could be, but I'm not going to be. I'm going to be realistic and say, oh, yes, he hasn't be been as good. Can't be. Stop trying. I could say he's got the most assists in the squad this year, so he deserves to be you know, on the same level just trends. you being not even shameless. That's just you being idiotic, straight up. Anyway, but, anyway, look, we'll 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 care the. But the Carvalho thing, later. though, do you think he deserves more of a chance, or like what yes. is it? Because it might be something in training. I don't know what. We bought Fabio Carvalho, thinking he could adapt to left wing, and then what we done is realised that Nunes, Jota, and Diaz are better left wingers. So now he doesn't get a look in. He deserves so, so, so much better than what we're giving him. Because his skill set is there. And he hasn't been able to show it post-World Cup. He hasn't. But to start of the season, that's the Fabio Carvalho I want to see. The goal Maybe against even... Newcastle. 
Newcastle, Bournemouth, even the cameo against United when we lost. All that stuff was He was there. quite all good against United. Him, he was. Yeah, again, this is why it confused me that he's just been shunned to the side. He's a top, top quality player and he needs a loan because we're not going to use him. But whether it's an 8 or a 10, Liverpool Football Club have to utilise Fabio Carvalho in the future. Because if we don't, it will be one of the biggest missed opportunities we've had in a long time. I agree. I agree. I can't lie to you. And there you are, Hussai, once again. I love Trent. I get so frustrated when he gives up. Ends up costing us ever time. You can call Robo crap, which he isn't. At least he don't give up. And there you are. You just proved my point without realizing. All we do is, oh, Robertson, he kept running. He didn't give up. How about a good cross, pal? How about a good assist, pal? How about him actually doing something going forward? How about that? That would be better for me than he kept running, you know? I, I'm not buying this whole he kept running nonsense. I can be real with you. But thank you so much, Hossai, once again. So, Tom, we agree on Klopp's basement. He just hasn't had an opportunity. I'm going to be real with you. If I wanted to be shameless because I own a shirt, he'd be in very good, but yeah. This guy He's right here, Tom. Basement. Where are we putting him? Very good. You don't agree He's he's been here, Darwin? Why would Darwin Nunes be garbage post World Cup? I'm just kidding. I actually agree with you. Tell me why. Tell me why you think he's very good, though. He he is our most dangerous attacker. 100 percent he is. Not because he's our best attacker, because Sal is our best attacker. He's our most dangerous one because he doesn't know what he's gonna do, so no one else knows what I he's gonna do. I actually disagree. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think he's been very good. I think he's just been good. Very I good is very, very good. like that's a strong word. There's maybe two in my mind that I'm about to put in very good. Like, Dar I, I... Darwin, Darwin Nunes has been our best attacker post World Cup. No, he hasn't. I'd say yes. I'd Salah say... has, obviously. Maybe not. Maybe not best, but consistent. Because Salah has games where he's on it and then games where he's off it. So for me, I'll put Darwin Nunes in very good. But you I know why I'm can... saying what I'm saying? Because see, right here, the front three, right? You've got mm -hmm. Salah, you've got Gakpo. You're going to probably say Gakpo very good and Salah very good, but our front three has not been very good post-World Cup. Why would, why would Gakpo go very good? But how? How are you putting, like... I'm putting Nunes in very good, I'm putting Gakpo in good, and I'm putting Salah in very good. I don't know. That's how I would do it, personally. Uh, you, know what? I, I, you know what? There is, there's no need to be shameless. I agree. I think Darwin's probably been very good post-World Cup. I think he's been a lot... I, 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 think, I, think he's, I think straight after the World Cup, i.e. City and Villa, it was painful as someone who defends the man because he decided to have a collective seven big chances and missed all seven. But I think beyond that, he's been our most dangerous attacker. Even in the games against Real Madrid... He was the one who carried the most threats. Is he the best on the ball? No. Is he the best ability-wise? No. But in terms of what we need, we need Darwin Nunes. And the biggest compliment I can give him is when he's not in the team at the minute, we, we look it. 10 times worse. 100%. We look 10 times worse. So he has to go and very good for me. I agree with you. I think that's fair. Very good is, is fair, to be honest with you. There's no need to lie. So, a guy that causes controversy... You bought his stock, Tom. Mm -hmm. Where do we put Mr. Harvey? See, this is where we need a category for average because I, I don't think he's been substandard. substandard. No, because I, I don't think he's been substandard because my standards for Elliot aren't as high as my standards for Robertson. I think Elliot has performed to standards. But but I, stand you know, you, Tom, but, you, know if but, this was a, you know if this was a space, they'd do this. You know this. Yeah, because they hate him. And I, I understand why there's distaste for him, because he's in centre mid and he shouldn't be in centre mid. But when I look at what he's too doing... High, though. Good, good's too high, and I think substandard is harsh. If you put him there, I'm not going to sit there and go, oh, it's a disgrace, I'm not doing it. But I think it's a bit harsh on him, because I think he's hit his standard. But Substandard his standard... is just another word for, like, average, to be honest with you. No, but sub standard is average. Substandard is below average, but not bad. So you've got like standard, you, substandard. I, I, I bad. think here's the thing: putting him in good would be intellectually dishonest. Just you, you've created about three new categories already. Chuck, chuck another category that says average and just put him in there. There's a couple of others. No, no, no. There is no. Well. Then I will just change this to average. 
No, but then you're going to say Andy Robertson hasn't been average. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then I'll do this. See, no, because I think that's too harsh on Robertson. We need He's another not... category. Well, you love Robertson too much. I think substandard's fine, to be honest with you. There's not because he has been substandard. Even if put, he put, isn't put, put him right at the top, then put him right. Put him like right <coughs> next to substandard. That was like a list. He is right at the top of substandard, very nearly in good. Because I think by the standards that he gets judged by, it's very harsh. He's a right winger in centre mid, which is where he shouldn't be, and he's done a job there. Get some games he smashes it, some games he doesn't. That's fine. I think when he's been at right wing, i.e. Wolves, he's done really, really well. But, and even against Brighton, when he managed to get in that position, he done really, really well. So, I think average and the top of substandard works for him. I don't agree with the amount of shit he gets online, because, yes, he's not what we want in the centre mid. And I'm not going to argue that. Well, it's not his fault he plays there. It's, it's the owner's and the manager's fault for signing Arthur, who can't play a game, and no other centre mid, why he's got to do it. That's basically it. So I've got okay. all the sympathy in the world for him. Okay, let's. Uh, there's a few in here we won't even do. Let Let me just put Bobby Clark at the end here. Let me That's just Calvin Ramsey. Calvin Ramsey, Bobby Clark, Tomato Tomato, uh, Kelleher. There's no need to rank him because he hasn't played post World Cup. Uh, the rest have he, played. He put, He played the City Cup game. Let me put this guy right there. Um, Tiago, blah blah blah. Okay, I think we should be good now. Just chuck Curtis Jones and garbage without us having a conversation. Uh, Cody Gakpo, Tom. Good. You don't I, think he I, deserves I, very good? No, I don't because of the stars. And I think it's harsh to judge him solely on the stars, but I do think he's got to go in good on the stars because he went seven games, barely registered anything. And I get that it was an adaptation period and he needed time and all that stuff, but I can't put him in the same level as Nunes and Salah. Even though I think he's going to grow up into that level, I can't put him in that same level just yet. I can't like Cody gave me the, my best celebration when he scored against United. But I was like, Cody, Cody. I just lost my mind when he scored because we went. I, I needed up. that. I needed that because it was they spent so long trying to get him. And then he, we get him, and he bags against them. I get, well, I get. You know, I also get that we've done him harsh because he's never played false nine before, and we've chucked him in the deep end in a Liverpool team that isn't very good at the minute. But I've also got to judge him by the rest of the squad. He's at the top end of good. I'll say that much. He's on the cusp of very good, but I can't put him on the same level as Nunes. Last, last and four or five games, he's probably played better. Um, yeah. But it's it's about post-World Cup, so we've got to go all the way back to that Villa game. Like, we've got to go go way back to, to, to that Villa game. He, he, so, he just didn't like January. He could not... He, he didn't... He needed the adaptation period of January, and that will go against him. This guy, Tom. Oh, see, you know what? This is a weird one. Because I'm debating between garbage and crap. But I've seen yeah. really good games from Fabinho. So he's going to have to sit in crap. Yeah. He's going to have to. But I still wouldn't be opposed to selling him. I can't lie. It's substandard than crap for me. I wouldn't go as far as garbage. I, I remember how crap he was in that Villa game. And the Bro, game. he's had, he's had horrible game. games. But he's had good games as well. Oh, up, up until by Chetich come in, he would have been straight in garbage. I don't think anyone's arguing. Yeah, and that. then after by Chetich, like when he played double pivot with him a couple of times. After by Chetich, been... after by Chetich, he would sit in substandard. He sit. Yeah, in I crap. think crap is fair. Crap just is between them. You know, you know, Fabinho. I want to big him up because he's one of the players who came out and said like, essentially, we need signings. And this is one of the things like, you know, Tom Little. What makes me laugh. When we, summer long, we were shouting, signing, 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 signings. People were like, oh, you're negative for views. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Van Dijk, Konate, Fabinho all came out and said, we need recruitment. And you know, this is why I'm saying, this is why I've kept the same energy for all of them. I've said, let's keep the actually good players in this team, surround them with other good players. And if they still play like crap, sell them. But I, I'm not going to take a quick decision on them now. I'm going to be honest with you. 
I think that it's, it's, it's good enough to have him in crap for now. So, Roberto, what are we putting in? Um, he's a tough one to judge because he's barely played, has he? I think I think he can sit in good because he scored, but like right at the bottom. I think he's been good. Yeah, but he's barely played. He's been injured up until the Everton game. Should we just not trade him because he hasn't played? He scored up. He scored against who? United. United, one goal. Mm -hmm. That was his return. Yeah, I think it's unfair to even rank for 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 me. Not to be honest with you, you really can't. You really can't because this post World Cup as well. Yeah, I mean, I think across the season he's been one of the better players, but I think post World Cup because he had that injury, it's hard to judge him yeah. by it. So, <laughs> right, garbage. You can go sit right in garbage along. Go hug Adrian, Top. you Top. knob. Top. No, no, you because know... that no because that implies he's close to crap, and he's he's. I genuinely think he's been worse than Curtis Jones. Listen, I'm not really gonna argue this. I'm not gonna argue with you. Joe Gomez's performance against Real Madrid is the worst individual performance in the Klopp era. I don't, I don't even need to go back that far. Joe Gomez sat there and twerked for two separate Brighton attackers in a week. Danny Welbeck flicked it over his head. And he went, you know what, that's not enough. Let me go let Matoma do it as well. In the same week, to, get, to give us a 3-0 loss at the Amex, and then knock us out the FA Cup. You know how bad that is? He, it, the only reason I'm keeping him next year, and you've seen the squad that I would have. For next I ain't year, keeping him. I'm selling him. The only reason I'm keeping him for next year is because I can't. No, but he doesn't. Uh, Tom, you're probably going to say sell Matip, keep him, right? But, uh, let me, but Matip let me don't finish. get you money. Gomez gets you money. Let me finish. The only okay. reason, the only reason I'm keeping him is I can't be asked going to buy another fucking homegrown player. I'd soon just have him registered. And Tom, don't done. be one of them people. And I plus I can't rely on Calvin Ramsey. I can't. So I'd soon just have him be back up right back, and then I never have to play him. And he can just. But go why sit should there I put him bench. back up right back when he's worse defensively than Trent? He isn't now. He is. You know he is. He isn't worse defensively. He's just got more bozo moments. Wow. So he's worse defensively, essentially. No, he's not worse defensively. Tom, you because... know he's worse defensively, Tom. Tom, I... little, you saw what Madrid did to him. Vinicius targeted him. Come on, I've man. Se- I've, I've seen what people have done to Trent over the years. Again, I'm not... Uh, well, I will say this. Joe Gomez is a better defender than Trent. That's about all he has better than no, Trent. I disagree That's with it. That. He's not even better defensively than Trent. I disagree. Trent, bro, Tom Little, Gomez can't even play his original position properly. And I still remember Leroy Sané cooked him when he was at, at Man City when he played right back. Brother, that was 2018? Do we want to go back? If we're doing revisionism, if we're going back that far, if your best example is Leroy Sané, I can pull out fucking Dwight McNeil. Listen, that's not the point. So the I'm point not is... gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it just out of respect for my boy Trent. But here's the thing: but I, keep saying I will that... say, I will say that Joe Gomez is a better defender than Trent, but that's about he eight. isn't. He can't pass as well as Trent. He can't attack as well as Trent. He can't dribble. Can't as well defend as, as well as Trent either. He... <sighs> right. He can't. He's... There is nothing that Joe Gomez does better on the pitch. I promise you, not a single thing. Joe... Again, though, at fullback, it's different. That's the thing. At fullback, it's different because he's not having to deal with you guys. Tall strikers. Tom, the he's... problem is you want to sell Matip. Matip don't bring in money. Gomez brings in money. Get rid. Gomez does not bring in more money than Matip. Like c- comfortably more money than Matip. Bro, are you okay, Tom? You know that Gomez, just based on English tax and age, could comfortably get you thirty m's. And how much does Matip get you? Ten million. Fifteen. No, he don't. No, he don't. By the way, you even get... 15, that's double. Just like that. Okay, yeah, that's fantastic. That's 15. That's 15. So, Liverpool Football Club should be able to cover fucking £15 million pounds because if we sell Gomez and not Matip, we've then got to buy another fucking backup right back because I can't rely on Calvin Ramsey yet because he's still fucking growing. Well, we it's need like a, a fucking teenager right going anyway. through fucking puberty. 
We need a backup right back anyway. We do. No, but no, but we don't know because Calvin Ramsey can become that, but he needs more time, and Joe Gomez can go for the rest of his contract and cover right back. I'm not buying another thank, fucking. Thank right God back. you're not our sporting director. Thank God. What happened to Tom? You speak a lot of sense now, and Gomez is most certainly a better defender than Trent. Selection, the fact that you agree with Tom confirms in my mind that I'm 100 percent right. Wait, because so you, you two... so, so so you don't agree with selection? No, the fact that you agree with him shows me that I'm right. So, so, so that's that's a two v one. Joe Gomez two... on the back. That, 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 that that's a two v one outweigh. So we're we're the correct ones. We no, you're the, the wrong votes. ones. You're we get the, the majority. One. We we get the majority vote with Sam. Just because you get, get the majority the... doesn't mean you're right. But right, let's ask the comments then. Who, if you were to put a right back, it, you're going up against one of the best fullbacks in the world. You need a defender to defend for ninety minutes at fullback against one of the best wingers in the world. Who are you a going for? Man calls another Joe man Go- homeless. Joe Joe Gomez or Trent? Who are you going I'm for? I'm going Trent. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm going Trent 100. percent Big up to you, selection. Thank you so much for the super chat. But you are full of you know what? He ain't better. He ain't better. Um, big up to Ice who sends in a super chat. Ice Spice, by the way. Uh, there's a reason his nickname is Dopey Joe. Tom, we are stuck with players like him because fans like you can't let go. And you know what it is, brother? Like, I want to let go. I, I, you know that scene in the Titanic where she just goes, "Yeah, fuck off," and go drown. <laughs> like that. I want to do that with Joe Gomez, but I know this football club, and I know. The, if we were to let go of Joe Gomez, we would we would be short and right back. But, but, but you're injured, missing the and point. Then J- and then James Milner would have to do two months at fucking right back. And I have a mental well-being that I have to protect. I'm 38-year-old James Milner up against the likes of Martinelli, uh, Sterling, Matoma. That's not going to protect I think we'll get the backup well-being. right back. I really, do, I really do think we will. But the thing is, my brother, look, Ice is right. Gomez gets you money. He gets you 30 M's. Bro, that's that's Kone right there. Would you trade Gomez for Kone? Answer, would you? See, now when I put it in that perspective, now you yes, because no that's longer... a fucking stupid perspective because we should be able to... No, that's a great perspective anyway. because essentially I'm telling you Gomez goes out the window and Kone comes in. You are no, taking no, that no, all no, day. No, 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 no. But then, can I sell anyone else for phone Kone? Because I'd sooner sell Curtis oh, Jones to Fun Kone. Yeah, I would sell Curtis as well, no problem. Yeah, so then Curtis Jones goes, Kone comes in, I keep Gomez to go back up right back. The fact that you even trust Gomez in 2023 shows me that, you know, you are just... If Where's the trust? Yeah. Where did, if, this, is, this is like me having two massive fucking gaping holes in a wall. I've got to cover one of them with a piece of fucking paper. I'll cover the smaller one with a piece of paper because it does more. I still have to so, co- like solve these major issues all so the way over there. Me. Gomez can cover that until I've got enough money to go sort that one. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Honestly, you're so full of... And speaking of done, there's no need to even argue this. Brian Henderson. Are you going to gonna... say... You know, I already know, so let, I'm going to let you think about it for 10 seconds. Big up selection says, the reason Trent seems to need his centre-back to help him in most scenarios. I can't count on Trent to hold it down and Trent can't defend the back post. My brother, the only full-back who has stopped Vinicius all year long is Araujo, who's actually a centre-back playing right-back. That's the only guy who has stopped Vinicius. Vinicius will dribble past 99% of the full-backs he faces. So obviously he would need help from the centre-back. This is just normal behavior. There is a reason why Salah got three defenders on him. There is a reason why we had to overload Vinicius. It's not that Trent can't defend. Trent can defend, and he's better than Gomez defensively. Gomez at the far post gets absolutely spanked when he plays fullback. He gets spanked on the on, on, on the far post. I'm gonna be honest with you. Big up to you, selection though. Thank you for the super chat. So do we all, do we agree, Tom? No. Henderson, garbage. No. Oh God! Here we go. He goes at the very bottom of crap. Is where he goes. No, no, he no, do- he no, does. no, no, no. He no. does. Jordan, ha- okay. Let's name Henderson's crap performances. Henderson, every single Henderson performance except for United. No. No, because he was good against Everton as well, and he was decent against Newcastle. How are you saying he was good against Everton? Oh my goodness gracious me! Oh, this guy's talent ID stinks. I, I cannot, with my heart of hearts, 
put Jordan Henderson in the same category as Ice Spice. No, but now, no, now you're going to use this logic for everyone. Oh, I cannot put anyone with Gomez. No, you can because even by his standard, he's crap. If this annoys you so much, yeah. we put him yeah. above Gomez. Uh, okay, no you know, problem. by Jordan Henderson's standards, he's been crap. So go put him in crap. No, by Jordan Henderson's standards, he's been garbage. That performance you... against Leicester made me want to bleach my eyes. Hassam, H- that... Hassam, the standards that this club is, the standards that we have set at post World Cup have been dead. They have been dead. They have been so dead. I'm saying, Kay. If Fabinho is in crap, Jordan Henderson's in crap. Fabinho's comfortably lower. better than Henderson post World Cup. Comfortably. Comfortably better than Henderson post World Cup. Comfortably better. He's been better, but not comfortably. Bro, Tom, what is wrong with you, bro? I said, do you understand how much this hates me to say? Do you understand how much I want to sit there and say Jordan Henderson's this? He's not getting out of the team yet. But I'm speaking logically. And Jordan Henderson has not been worse. Has not been complete garbage. That's the matter of fact. He's had good games. He has been. Which is more than what anyone else that I'm going to put in that garbage here can say. That's the but only Gomez reason. has had good games. Like who? Like who? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like who? This is like the guy that Joe. you want to keep, by the way. I want to sell. That's fantastic. I want to keep him for right back, not centre back. It's okay, you know what? Let's take it to majority vote. Majority vote. Don't write me your life story. You've got two choices. Garbage, crap. Where does Henderson belong? No life stories, none of that. Crap, garbage. Simple. Tell me where. Tell me where. If I see more garbages, he's going garbage. I can't the like man, I'm, putting the, rank here. I'm, I'm just going to say, the Man City game doesn't count for Gomez because we're yeah, not talking about World pre-World Cup. Cup. That yeah. was pre-World Cup. And even after that, he got dunked on by Awanyi. He got dunked on by Jared Bowen. He got dunked on by fucking Rodrigo. <laughs> he went three for three. God, I've seen it. I've seen a lot of craps. You just skipped three craps in a row. He no, I'm be- showing you how much more garbage there is. It's so much right. more garbage. I'm okay, not so, so go go through. Go, no, no, go through it again. Go through it right okay, at the top. So no it, start, it starts off with. It starts off with Kai. Big old Kai. Yeah, I know Kai. We, you know, I know we so get to got my two chat. Two garbage. Kai infinite. Yep. One crap, so okay. Three garbage. Two one. Iran. Three one. Three two. Three two. Four four two. two. Four three. Four four. Four four. Five, five four. Six four. Six four. Six, six five. five six, six, six six. Seven six. Seven seven. Eight six. Eight eight eight. Eight eight. eight yes, yeah, sorry. Nine eight, eight for nine. crap. This guy. Uh, nine right nine. Here. Nine nine. nine, ten, nine. nine. 10 10, 11 10, 12 10. Oh, the 10. fucking late ones. Oh, Hall, you know what? Hall, I'm not asked. Hall. I'm not asked. Put, put him above Adrian. No, put him above Adrian. Hold right there. Put, put, right put, there. put, put him above, put him 15, above Adrian. 10 garbage. Hold put, him, uh, put him above Adrian. He's, he's right at the top. Doesn't matter. He's still garbage anyway. And by the way, all the people who are saying garbage and crap is the same. Guys, garbage is when you've got a whole big bag filled with crap inside so it's multiple craps put together speaking of multiple craps put together Joel Matip <laughs> yeah you can go sit there you know but Gomez has to be the last Brother, Joel I, 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 I don't, why are we the, I don't want to waste my breath on Joel Matip's performances post World Cup I don't want to waste it Bro. so let's just move on who's next That's is it Gomez, Matip Matip partnership honestly man like, they didn't even have good moments. Like, not even a good moment. Nothing. And they give you absolutely nothing. All, all, jo- all. Joel jo- jo Matip made Joe Gomez look the best of sense back. That's how bad he's been. Let's not even go there. Let's not even go there. Where's Klopp? I don't know. I don't know how to add people. If anyone knows how to, like, add a guy over here, tell me. And I'll add who looks Klopp. Wait there. Who looks most like Klopp? Let's look at the players that we're not ranking. Who looks most like him? Calm Ramsey? No. Vandenberg. I think Vandenberg. He's got the beard. He's got the hair that goes off to the Bro, side. Bro, is a ginger, literally. Have some shame. Yeah, but he's the closest that we've got looks-wise. If anyone knows how to add, like, a guy, tell me. We will add. No problem. But big up to you, Selection. Thank you so much for the super chat again. Listen in. Um, we're done with almost half of them. Everyone watching us right now, slap the like button. Subscribe to This Football if you're ready to do so. Everyone right now, please like, like, subscribe, subscribe. We ain't even on 100 likes yet. Because you guys are moving like Joe Gomez. Um, big up to 
Ryan, Usman, Kosai, Selection, and Ice for the Super Chats. Gracias, amigos. Big up to every single person who sends in a Super Chat. Always shows us the love and the support. We give you at the end, we can give you five minutes, you know, to, to, to edit this with your Super Chats if you would like. If you don't want, it's fine. So, this is the thing so far. Slap the like button and subscribe. Morshin, I didn't block you on Twitter. What's your at? Can you tell me your at, please? So I will unblock you. There's no way I blocked you on Twitter, my brother. That might be like a glitch or something. Ted, just write me your at in the comment section. I'll unblock you right now. Um, anyway, Tom, moving on. Diogo Jota. There's only one right answer, to be honest. Crap. I think substandard. I think crap is harsh. The thing is with Jota, he showed me glimpses pre-World Cup. He hasn't shown me those post-World Cup. And pre-World but Cup, Jota crap was substandard. Is harsh because he's just been back and stuff. Like, like yeah, it's harsh, but this entire team's been bad. I'm not going to put him in the same category as Elliot and Robertson. I, th I, think, I think it's a fair category I, 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 to be in. No, I think he's at the upper tier of crap. I think he's at the upper tier of crap. But he, he sits in that crap. No, I disagree. Me. I think it's too harsh. It's not, though, is it? Because post-World Cup, he's had a number of games and he's done fuck all. Bro, like, he's just back from injury, though. Post-World Cup, you've got to think about that, like, context as well. Like, he just got back. Against... Uh, you know, against Bournemouth, he had probably our best moment. One is the penalty. Like, oh, whoop the fucking day. We celebrate winning penalty. Yeah, but I'm putting him in substandard. I'm not even saying good. But then what, what are you rating him pre World Cup then? Pre World Cup, he didn't play. He did play pre World Cup. He got injured fucking pre World Cup. Of course he played pre World Cup. It... All of his assists in the Premier League and the Champions League came before the World Cup. He was substantive pre World Cup, and the numbers aren't there you're now. Right. You're right. So he sits there you're in right. craft. Yeah, you're right. I can't lie. You've convinced me. Nabi Keita. You can go sit in garbage. I'm, I'm just sick to death of Nabi Keita. I'm absolutely sick to you death. You wouldn't say Klopp's Keita. basement? No, because he's had chances. He's had chances. I'm a very real. I'm not going to do argue this. Fa Fabio, Car Fabio Carvalho has barely touched the pitch. Nabi Keita's had starts. Fabio Carvalho has had what, like about three total starts in his Liverpool career. I'm just sick to death of Naby Keita. Naby Keita. I, so I own a Naby Keita shirt, and that is my worst fucking like. You know when people have a guilty conscience and it weighs on them. That's me. I have a guilty conscience about buying a Naby Keita shirt. I'm sick to death of him. Naby Keita is so horrible, man. I've never seen like her. Honestly, this guy, one of the worst players, man. That like... Fucking Palace game. How the fuck are you letting Jeffrey Schlup? Of all people, dunk on your head. That's insane. That's insane. I agree with you. Let's just keep him in crap. Let's keep, keep him in garbage, to be honest with you. Ibrahim Akonate. Mm, good or very good? good I think very good. good is fair. I think he's been the best centre-back post-World Cup. And, Tom, when you look at it, that Real Madrid kind of thing showed us the difference directly between, like, Konate and any of the other centre-backs. Like, you know, he's been very yeah. good post-World Cup. Like, he, he, you know, when, when he came in, Santiago Bernabeu away, I'm like, whoa, like, you know, like, where's this guy been type thing? And now we're looking at it like, damn, like, this guy is the truth right here. I just wish he wasn't injury-prone, to be honest with you. That's the only thing I'd change about him. I, I love Karate. I look. I just think he. I just wish he could fucking pass a football at times. Bar that, I've got no quarrels with him. Ames Milner, where are we putting him? He's been good. <laughs> I agree. I actually think he's been good as well. I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> like our, our midfield has been so shit. James Muller comes in and looks good. I think he's actually been good as well. I wouldn't actually give him any negative rating. Like James, no, Miller, I, I, he's, I can't say he's that's a 39, bad game. He's coming. He's done well. Like, what can you say? You know what James Wong was like. I don't know if he plays Sunday League. You know when you only have ten players, and someone's mate turned up to watch on the side, and they're all they've had a couple of injuries, but they go, you know what, fuck it, give us a shirt, I'll go on, and I'll do right back. That's basically what James Wong is doing for us right now. We've had to give him a shirt. He doesn't even want to play. We have to give him a shirt. We need players. He gets on the pitch. He does right back, and we see the game else. 
Plus, he fucking absolutely two for the Mudrick, which puts him straight up in my estimations. <laughs> this guy, bro. I think I think good is fair. Like specifically given his standards, what we expect of him, all of that. He's been good. He ain't been he ain't been bad at all. I'm gonna be honest with you. Oxley Chamberlain. There's only one right answer, and you have to be real, Tom. Klopp's basement. He hasn't been garbage. He, you know what? If I'm gonna actually rank him, I'm gonna I do this. I put him in substandard. I put him in substandard. I, I, I would do this, but that would make you mad. But every time he's actually come on the pitch, he's not been bad at all. But the problem is he just hasn't gotten any opportunity at all. And no, it's even, by the way, I just want to mm. tell people something. Tom Little will act up now because it's on YouTube. But even he himself came on a space and was like, I think we need to give Ox a chance. He said it with his own Yes, I, I've said that. I've, I'll happily say that. I said when it was bad, I'd give Ox a game at right centre mid. I don't think he's been in Klopp's basement because he's had multiple starts. I put him in substandard because... But has he played bad? Yes. Name but the game where he's played too bad. Fucking Aston Villa. And do not tell me he was good against Aston Villa. Oh my god, you're actually claiming he played bad against Aston Villa when he was on the wing and he was one of our better players. Brother, he hasn't played centre mid since last year. Of course I'm judging him by his wing performances. You he's are so get... full of crap, you know. No, no, man. because you know what, Hassan? Do you know what? Are you gonna give him credit for Brentford? Brentford, he was okay as well. But he, he played on the wing there, so you, you can't use that one. He played on the wing. Well, you're Brentford. missing the point. I'm, I'm not missing the point because you, you just said I can't use Aston Villa because he, he played on the wing. against Aston Villa. He, I said he was good. My argument is not that he played on the wing. I'm saying he was good against Villa. He Bro, the thing good. is, was, like, I just don't get why we don't give him... bang average, if not substandard. He can go sit in substandard as well. I'm sits. giving him a club space because I just don't think he's getting any opportunity. Oxley he hasn't, Tom. You have to be real. He hasn't gotten opportunities. And you yourself have come on spaces and said, bro, just give this guy a go. Like, he, he can't be worse than what we have. Yeah, I, I know I've said that. I'm not trying to say I have So, by definition, he's in Klopp's basement. <laughs> yeah, if he's there, I'm not asked. But I don't think yeah. if you're going to go between good and substandard, he goes in good. Okay, whatever. We're just arguing for the sake of it at this point. So, Salah, where are we putting him? Very good. Tom, you know, apparently they call me a Salah sexual, so can you tell them why you think Salah's been so very good? The numbers. That's about it. I oh. I can't... You can't lie with numbers. That, that's the be-all, end-all, and he's had numbers, and he's bailed us out of games where we don't deserve to be bailed out. And... I can't lie. I think Mo Salah's probably been our best attacker all year long, and post-World Cup as well. I disagree with Tom about the Nunez thing. I think the thing is, people are jumping onto Salah's neck and you've got people like Selection. You describe Mo Salah like he's Jamie Vardy, yet, yet, you've got Lionel Messi expectations of him. So the question remains, <laughs> is he Jamie Vardy and just a goal scorer or is he Lionel Messi? Because people will sit up here and go like, oh, what's Salah done? What's Salah done? What's Salah done directly? But when he had unbelievable games, no one says that. In you know, fact, there's oh, many games. I, I, I'm, I'm going to piss you off here. I don't. I think he goes in good. No, he don't. No, he don't. Because if I he th- goes in good, then Nunez has to go in good. No, because Nunez was injured. That's the only thing that protects Nunez. Yeah, but then why did you put Jota in crap then when he's been injured? Because when Jota's and... come in, he's been crap. There you are. There you when, are. See, I'm right. not judging. Jo- no, because three pointer you, on your head. No, top. it's it's not though because you think that you scored something. I'm judging. I'm putting Jotter in crap because when he's played post injury, he's been crap. I'm putting Nunes in very good because when he's played pre and post injury, he's been very good. Saleh has played all throughout, so that go in the way that I can back him for that because he's been fit. I can also sit there and go for that spell throughout all of fucking January, pretty much. You were dog shit. I would have much rather had Ben Doak on the right wing because you were offering fuck all. That's what goes against Salah, that January spell. Of course you'd and rather start Ben Doak. So many... Yeah, I, I want to play for Liverpool. <laughs> Imagine you on the wing. Damn, you would suck, honestly. You actually would suck for, for Liverpool. I'm a bit with you. Listen, Tom, I'm pulling a rank on this one. He's staying in very good because we have to have realistic conversations about the Egyptian king right here. And you know what it is? All jokes aside, Madrid at home, I thought he had a very good game. Manchester United had a very good game. 
Um, you know, Brighton in the FA Cup, the one we lost 2 1, I thought he had a good game. Aston Villa, he had a very good game as well. Like, it's just, I just don't get the Salah hate, I'll be real with you. And people always, you know, they, they, they want to sell Salah or they want to do this and they want to do that. What they don't realize is this football club, if we sell Mo Salah, are the replacement going to be Harvey Barnes? And they ain't ready for that. So, you know, people just speak out of their, you know what. So let's just put him very good. He's not being very Thiago good. Thiago Alcantara, Tom. Substandard. Oh, God. You're so Substandard. Precious. I'm putting him very good. Oh, no way. No, 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 no. Is your problem with Thiago Alcantara performances or injury? My problem with Thiago Alcantara is the moment we took him out of the team and put in a fucking workhorse, we look better. Oh, we look so much better. We lost against Bournemouth. Oh, we look so much better. Right. Do you really want to try and point score right now? Yes. If we want, if we want to try and point score, all I have to do is go pull up Thiago Alcantara's last five games for Liverpool, where he got exactly, sorry, six, seven. In his in Thiago Alcantara's last seven games for Liverpool, he won zero of them. He won zero. That's not of his them. fault though. He was on the fucking pitch for all seven. Yeah, but that's not his fault that we didn't win. Whose fault is it then? Whose fault is the it? The centre backs that were playing at the time: Gomez, Matip, Robertson. Va- Van, da- Van Dijk played two of them, so we put Van Dijk and go. Yeah, but, that, but where do you think Van Dijk's gonna go? Jo- Jordan Henderson didn't play any. I think he played two of the games. I think yes, he didn't he play did. the last five. Yes, he did. And we lost 5-2 against Madrid without him. We lost 1-0 against Bournemouth that's, without that's him. That's fantastic. Do you know what I can we, lost we lost away about... to Madrid without him. Yeah, that's Just an excuse. Mean... We drew away at no. Palace without him. Ve- Thiago Alcantara has not been very good post-World Cup. I'm not putting him in that category. Bollocks. Listen, if this was based on everything and we had to include availability, then he would be in substandard. But every time he stepped on the pitch, he's been categorically our best midfielder. Yes, by fucking standards of watching Jordan Henderson try and kick a football and watching Fabinho try and move around like he hasn't got fucking arthritis in his legs so he can't move around. Yes, he's been very good compared to the standard of dog shit. But what I expect, he has not been that good. He hasn't. He goes and he goes right at the top tier of substandard for me. I, right I think substandard, you're being too harsh. Okay, you know what? Let's just settle in the middle. You say goes, substandard, if, I say very if, good. If just he goes good, good. I, I wouldn't go top tier. I think Gakpo's been better, and I think Trent's oh, been better. Yeah, happy. We can put him bot. Tomato, tomato. Just keep him in good. But I think substandard is way too harsh, because you're just getting angry at the injury part. I'm going to be real with you. I'm not, because I'm sitting there judging it by the fact that, yes, he's done defensive work really well. I'm not going to argue that. But by the standards I expect of Thiago Alcantara, he should be. This guy is a prime countries. Salah hater right here. Prime Salah hater, this selection. Selection, right. selection. Well, what category did I say Salah should go into? What category is Thiago good. in right now? Yeah, what category is Thiago in right now? No, but that's not the point. You're saying Salah has to be demoted one and Thiago needs to be demoted one. He's disagreeing with you. I'm not He's saying both Thiago, should be I'm in not, the same one. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not asked if Thiago goes in good, but I can't. I'm not having him in very good. I'm not. I'm actually agreeing with selection. I'm doing this, but you're saying this. I'm saying in the middle. If if Thiago and Salah going good, that's spot on tier list. No, because how are you telling me Darwin Nunes has been better than Salah? Because Darwin Nunes has been more consistent. Darwin Nunes has not had a single performance like Salah versus Madrid first half. Let's not even go there. Let's not even go. Okay, so so because. Again, whether I say whether I say Darwin has had a better performance than Salah, I said Darwin has been more consistent. Salah, Salah, go, Salah goes from a 9-10 to a fucking 3. Salah goes from bagging 2 and 2 assists against United to missing a pen against Bournemouth. How can I, how can I reward inconsistency? Simicas, where are we putting him? Um, same Club basement. I'm a very, that's the only... Pro, pro, you know what, yeah. Because yeah, he, he hasn't even had an opportunity, bro. <laughs> like, he, hasn't, he hasn't played enough. Yeah, he hasn't played enough. Virgil, where are we putting him? No. It's not over. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Where are we putting Virgil? 
crap or garbage by the standards Not that I standard? expect. No. Because substandard Virgil van Dijk is still one of the best centre backs in the world. You know what? I'm agree with you. Let me just revise this one right here. Oh no! Actually, I agree with myself. I think very good is probably fair. So where do you we know? This? You know deep down that Mohamed Salah should. Be I good. don't know deep down. Me, nothing. me, and you both know it. He should be in good. I'm so, Van Dijk in crap. Yeah, yeah. Look, I'm not arguing he's in crap, but I think there's an argument for garbage because by the standards that Virgil Van Dijk is going against, seeing the shit that he's done against Bournemouth and the shit that he can, he done against Madrid. And all this other stuff, I can't sit there and give him credit for that and praise for it. I agree. It's actually really quite bad. I agree with you. I agree with you. I think I think this is probably fair for him. So look, Firmino going to rate Van der Berg going to rate Kelleher. The this guy right here, hologram going to rate him. Nat Phillips going to rate him. Diaz hasn't played. Finally, Stefan Bacetic. And I don't care what you say, Tom. I'm going this. Based on expectations and the fact that he's been hands down our best midfielder post World Cup, I don't think you can argue this to be honest with you. But Chetichin, amazing, based on the fact that he's like 16 or whatever, however old he is, even you are older than him. You know how mad that is? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not going to sit in and say, but Chetich hasn't been boss. I love Stefan, I've been on his hype train for ages. This just comes down to me sitting there debating whether he deserves to have the same impact as Allison does in this tier list. Because... No, but, but now you're speaking on impact. That's a different conversation. No, because like, here's I, the thing. I, I, you want me to Hassam, be real? Hassam, Hassam, you know the situation I'm in right now. You know what I've done earlier on today. You know the fucking mental capacity I have about now. I just think that Alison Becker has been a level above everyone else. If I was to do this properly, I'd go, Alison, Bacetic, Nunez Canate, the rest can fucking decide themselves. But I can't have Bacetic and Alisson on the same category because... No, Bacetic but based on expectations, based on how they've come in to the steam and what they've done, but, like Tom what I, actually turned I the steam yes, around a bit is what Bacetic has done. I, I've said that earlier on. My point is, my point is, Alisson's had to do it from December 26th when we played Villa till now. Bacetic come in January. And yes, it, it he came in like back in the January start of Feb, and then got injured again at the start of March. So we've only had a month of Bacetic. Yeah, and he won Player of the Month as well. <laughs> Harvey Elliott's won Player of the Month this year, Sam. No, but that doesn't listen. That's that, that's pre. -work. Oh, it doesn't count now, does it? It doesn't count now. No, we're doing oh, player right, right, up, right, right. We're right. doing it post now. Up, it doesn't count now. Thank right, you, Lewis. Right. <laughs> worse and worse with these rankings. Look, I just have better standards for this football club than Hassan does. That that's, is that's cap. That's the end of. That is cap. You then how the fuck? Stuff. Then how is Salah in very good? Because not, post World way, Cup, he's been very good. But by, by, by the way, look, I'm not asked about Bacetic. Bacetic is amazing. I'm not going to sit there and moan about it. It's just you just opinion. want a separate tier for us, which I understand. Yeah, because that man could do unspeakable things to me. I love him that much. Anyway, Mohamed Salah is. I can't put him in the same category as Canar in Nunes. I can't. It's sitting bad with me. I can't. You can. I can't. But he's had very good games, my brother. He's also had very bad games. No, but that could be said for everyone, bro. Come on. Including Bacetta so, and Allison, by the way. What what very bad game has Nunes had when I'm sitting there going, oh, get him off the pitch? Oh, there you are. There you are. There you are. What do you mean there I am? Because I'm asking the question. Bournemouth. Anthony, you want you wanted to sub Nunes off against Bournemouth. And see now you're changing my thing. I don't want to sub I'm not, Nunes. I'm not because all I said was <laughs> what game has Nunes had where you sat there and went get him off the pitch? Because I'll tell you what, I wanted no, Salah off but... I wanted it's... Salah off the pitch against Wolves. I wanted Salah off the pitch against Brighton and I wanted Salah. I wanted Salah Nunes off the pitch, off the pitch against, against Bournemouth Bournemouth. as well and against Brighton. Which Brighton game? Which Brighton game? Because he didn't Which... play in the league game. He played in the FA Cup game. Did, did he play in the FA Cup game? I did think he, so. Did, did he start the FA Cup game? Or did he come I off the remember, bench in the FA no. Cup game? I really can't Cause remember. Because if, if he come off the bench in the FA Cup game, bollocks you want them off. <laughs> bollocks. 
Brighton, one of them games, isn't it? One of them games. So, Liverpool played Brighton twice. We played Brighton twice. In the league game, Darwin Nunes, he did not play at all. And we lost 3-0. In the FA Cup game, Darwin Nunes came on with 10 minutes to go. And we lost 2-1. So you're telling me, in his 10-minute cameo, you want to Darwin Nunes subbed off. Don't hide behind your fucking Liverpool mug. You're getting did disconnected. You... You're getting disconnected. I can't Did you it. want him off the pitch in his 10-minute cameo <laughs> against Brighton? Listen, the point, the point is, look, Salah has been our best forward for me. Like, it's just the truth. No, no. But how are you saying Nunes has been better than Salah, man? Because Nunes has been more consistent. He's been a bigger threat. What do you mean been more consistent? Salah got more goals. And more assists. Right. Oh, am I seriously going to have to pull up the stats to find out how many games... Pull them up. Have... Okay, pull Let's them up while we show the people. Stats. This is the tier list, ladies and gentlemen, essentially. So you've got an amazing Alison Bichetic, very good Salah Konate Nunez, good Gakpo Trent Milner Tiago, substandard Elliot Robertson, crap Van Dijk Jota Fabinho, Klopp's basement Carvalho Oxen Simicas, garbage Henderson Keita, Adrian Curtis, Matip and Gomez. This is only post World Cup. Once again, this is just post World Cup. This is not from the start of the season. This is post World Cup, uh, you know, for the three months period that right. That we've so, post World Cup, let me just tell the people something. Cup. Let me just tell the people something before I give them the stats. This is your chance to change the, the tier list. If you want to change it, up to you. If not, let us know your opinions in the comment section down below. And let's talk. For, for now, whilst Tom Little gets us the stats, everyone, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're ready to do so. Every single person right now, like the video, subscribe to This Is Football. Big up to Ryan, Usman, Qusay, Selection, Ice, and Morshin for the Super Chats. Everyone right now, like the video. And subscribe to the Swiss football. Uh, so selection is agreeing with you. He's saying Nunez is the bigger threat. I can't see us scoring without Nunez this day. Salah has been media. I can't lie. Salah sexuals. You know why we can't see us scoring without Nunez? Because all we do is hoof ball in behind and run, Darwin. Run. That's all we do. It's not because Darwin's amazing. It's because all we're doing is run. So obviously, that's going to be the case. So Tom, what are you saying? So... Stats wise, Salah has 13 GA post World Cup, Nunez has six. All that all again. Are, are, are you gonna allow me to apply context or are we just gonna apply, go hold? Apply, hold, apply. Darwin Nunez has played a total of 31. Let me just get the stats up. Darwin Nunez has played a total of four full 90s post World Cup. The rest have been games where he's been subbed off or subbed on. Mohamed no, Salah that's... post World Cup. Mohamed Salah post World Cup has played one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. But that's not how you judge. Sixteen, sixteen full. 90s. But that's not how you judge, though. How is that not how I judge? I okay, I'll tell you why it's not how you judge because Nunes gets subbed off all the time. So then I'm going to go, I'm going to go, because I think this is the fairest way to do it. I can't judge Nunes by the fact he gets subbed off because my manager's a knob at the times. So I'm going to go and do the maths right now. You can, I'm sure the super chat's coming in. i do the maths behind minutes per goal contribution post-World Cup. I'm going to go do the maths about behind it right now. And we'll, we'll figure out who's been better. Because you're, you're nervous okay. now. You're nervous okay, now. no, I'm not nervous. All I'm saying is 13 GA. That's double and one more GA as well. Can't lie to you guys. You guys, the reason why we're saying Nunes has been better than Sal because he just runs in behind and we just hoof it to him. That's not a good enough reason. And by the way, Trent plays the diagonal to Nunez. Robertson can't play diagonals. Selection says, so Klopp's the issue. Okay, I hear it, meet the guy. But Selection, once again, my brother, my lovely brother, my lovely, lovely, lovely brother. No one has denied that Klopp has been a bad manager this year. No one's denied that. No one has denied that. As a matter of fact, you come up here and you blame Klopp every day. Yet you want me to put the likes of Salah in crap. So where is your consistency, brother? Huh? Where's your consistency? Where's your consistency? And you see stuff like this from this guy right here, Loazi, pisses me off. 
I'm so happy we saw Just yesterday, articles have come out. Oh, Bayern unhappy with Sadio Mane. You've got two promoting who's a 34-year-old failed Stoke City striker outperforming him. And you're out here, you know, telling me all this crap. Like, come on, have some shame and decorum. Have some shame and, and decorum, bro. Oh, there you are. There you are. There you are. This guy just imagine voting a guy downward. Also, you can only vote him down one tier, so you can hold that and you can put him in substandard. And you can only change one per, per thingy. So you can hold that as well. So you double hold that for you, Bell. Double hold that. So we keep bringing him to substandard. Big up, Bell, though, for the super chat. Thanks so much. How you seeing Kate above Fabinho? Kate has been better than Fabinho. Bro, Keita should be sold immediately, at once. Tomorrow, just sell him. Tom doing the calculation thing. I bet money he can calculate it wrong. Tom, I can tell you failed maths. There's no need to do this. The thing is, I actually done Darwin in his days. He's got seven goals and assists. I missed out the Wolves goal in the FA Cup. That's on me. So he's got seven. He We didn't score against them in the FA Cup. There was... He in the first leg he did, in the same way Salah did. Brother, you're a you're a Liverpool content creator. Do you not remember his fucking goal against Wolves in the FA Cup? Wait, who did we? Who, oh yeah, yeah, Darwin Nunes had an amazing goal. That was the Trent assist, by the way. Yeah, there you go. And, and that game ended two two. Who scored the second goal? Salah. Bro, I don't even remember the Salah goal. Oh my god! It was it was, it was the dodgy offside one where people thought he was offside and then he went and then. Yeah, yeah. Well, I need to see Felipe. 20. Felipe is a guy I respect. Hey Tom, Felipe, he's a Bayern fan. Can we swap Mane for Salah? Because you Liverpool fans don't respect that king. Your best player since Gerard. Respect him. Keep him in very good. Felipe, thank you so much. Love to you, my brother. And now he's going to be kept in very good, unless someone outdoes that super chat, so you can all hold that. Where, where have I, where have I dropped? Tom, 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 where, have I, where have I no, dropped any disrespect even, on Salah's name? This isn't even you, Tom. This is this guy right here who's saying we sold the wrong winger. For context, Felipe is a Bayern fan. And he has to watch Mane week in, week out. He watches Mane week in, week out. Thank God we sold that guy. Bro, he played a striker and they're bringing out threads and articles as to why Sadio Mane is not playing, as to why he's not playing well. Thank God we sold Mane. I'm so happy we sold him. I'm just upset that we got the wrong replacement because I wanted to do Nkunku as a replacement because he's a more complete player, you know? So it's just, it's, just, it's just the honest truth. And I'm going to say this and I'll be responsible for whatever thing that you throw at me. Mo Salah moves to the Bayern, moves to the Bundesliga. He'd be on 30 goals right now, comfortably. Comfortably be on 30 goals right now. Big up to you, Felipe. Big up to Selection says, get Klopp on this. He needs the rocks thrown at him. Whoa. Whoa. Your brother, Tom Little, over here agrees. I can't lie to you. He agrees. Tom Little agrees, man. Yeah, yeah, and Klopp would go right into crap. No, yeah, and Klopp would go into garbage. I'm going to be real with you. Even worse. <laughs> How I'm still not defending club more than KD. I remember. No, but no, look, but, I, no, but I can be honest. Me, me, me and Hassam, me and Hassam are the biggest Sal defenders when it comes to Salamai debates. We have both ratio Kurdish this week regarding this Sadia Mali. Yes, hold that Kurdish, hold that. By the way, I ratioed <laughs> Kurdish so bad he actually deleted this tweet. That fraud, bro. <laughs> I, I, re I ratioed him so bad, he replied to me saying it was bait all along, which it weren't. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah. I, because I know he's tried to run that take a couple of times. That's such a um, cop out as well. You know, I, I've, I've got the out. numbers. I, I've got the numbers. Um, yes. Nunes has played um, 889 divided by seven, it averages up to 120. 122, actually. And Nunes, 1,549 divided by 13 is 119. So Salah has a better GA ratio. Fair enough. I can see the South and Governments are very good. It's fine. On your head top, I just dunked on you. I'm telling you. Just Salah post. Listen, here's the thing. I know for a fact. Brother, you very you so nearly put him into very good. I had you pressured that I had the full court press that bad. You very nearly put him into good. 
So don't say that. I, I'm I'm the bigger man here. I've conceded. I've sat there and said, you know what? Yeah, okay. And I, 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 con- I conceded good. Darwin very good as well. No problem. But you coming out what and saying Salah... you conceded and... Darwin very good? If you didn't put Darwin in very good, you were tapped in the head. It is what it is. It is this this Darwin love fest we got going on here. Anyway, one final time. This is the this is the tier list. So right here, folks, amazing is just Allison and Bacetic. This post World Cup once again. This is the post World Cup thing. So this is not from August. This is just from January. We got Allison Bacetic. We got Salah, Konate, Nunez, and very good. We got Gakpo, Milner, and Thiago, and good. Substandard. We have got Trent, Elliot, and Robertson. Crap. We got Van Dijk. Jota, Fabinho, Klopp's basement, we got Fabio, Ox, and Simicas. Garbage, we've got Henderson, Keita, Adrian, Curtis, Matip, and Ice Spice, uh, you know, at the end. And these players right here, the likes of Diaz, Phillips, Calvin Ramsey, etc., they just haven't played, you know. It would be unfair to, to, to rank them. So, anyway. Why is this Mane defence league in the comments? Start speaking on Mane like he didn't carry us to a quad last season. We didn't get the quad. And we had to move him to striker because we signed a left winger who was instantly better than him. So unless he moved to the middle, he wasn't going to play. So what, we're going to sit there and praise him for being shit that he had to move position. There's a difference between Salah and Mane. Mohamed Salah has remained good enough in his position and in his role for years and at this age. So we don't have to move him to accommodate for him. But as Sadio Mane... We've had to move him so we could fucking fit a better player in and he could go sit and attack in mid. But no. Byron fan, by the way. <laughs> Please accept the refund. Now you can keep him, brother. You can keep him, brother. Ooh, late push here by K. Fabinho, garbage, and Trenton good. So now, K, here's the thing, my brother. You've got to make a decision. It's either or. You cannot change two. So tell me, do you want Fabinho in garbage or do you want Trent in good? You can only okay, have mate. one, my brother. Okay, 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 mate. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna say, as a friend of you, I think Fabinho and garbage has a much better case than Trent and good. I Trent think it does. Hold, that. hold, hold. We just undone. We just undone the work. <laughs> you just keep holding L's, Tom, and I love it. And I love it. So Trent has gone back in good. Sorry for having high standards for this football club. Sorry. Oh, yeah. You have such high standards. You rate Robertson. G- give it a rest, brother. Give it a rest. Obviously, anyway. Rate Robertson. Best, one of the best left backs in the world. Tom, inshallah, next season when we're still working together, I'm going to remind you of this moment. I'm going to remind you. You're going to have to hold it. And you're going to have to apologize to me for the 100th time because you're always wrong. Anyway. Everyone wants to get sorry, right, Tom. So, sorry. Sorry. I, I remember the World Cup where I was on fucking fire with my predictions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they all say. That's what they all say. So big up to you guys. I'm going to get right now. Make sure you slap the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're ready to do so. Big up to Ryan. Big up to Usman, Qusay, Selection, Ice, Vel, Morshin, Felipe, K, and Vel for the Super Chats. Big up to you guys. Big up to Vel as well for the incredible thumbnail as per usual. Mwah, elite work. Everyone right now, slap the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're ready to do so. Everyone right now, please like, like, subscribe, subscribe. Thomas Little, let the people know where they can find you. You can find me at Tom Little with a one instead of the I on YouTube. I'm going to go with YouTube first because we're going for a big push on content now. On what day are we on now? Friday, on Wednesday. Which one? Yeah, on Wednesday, I dropped the top 50 rankings for the best players in the Premier League this season. Hassan wouldn't like it because certain players are ranked very low. Anyway. Tomorrow, Saturday, there is a little what-if video I've got coming out about what if the Premier League had NBA-style trades. And I've I've worked, it, I've worked a little trade about Mason Mount coming to Liverpool. And I'm, I'm well, going to give you... You know, you know what? You know, for the, for the lovely people on the This Is Football channel, mm. if, you follow me, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll have seen the full trade already because it's in the thumbnail. If you don't... I'll give you a little preview. One of the players moving to Chelsea is Diogo Jota. And two of the players moving to Liverpool are Mason Mount and Christian Pulisic. Christian Pulisic. Christian Pulisic. Mm -hmm. And then we wonder why we're ninth. Thank God. Hassam, Hassam, did I say 
did I say that I agree with the? Did I say that I agree with the move? I've said that this is a trade that if Liverpool were to ever do, I could see happen. There's also a I'm third sure player in there. You know what, fuck it. This is if this is football channel. I can go find the thumbnail right now. We'll do a little debate right here, right now, because it's not going to change. We'll do a little debate for the last two minutes of the This Is Football channel for whether we think who, what team wins this trade overall. And if, you, if you're not into the NBA, get into the NBA. NBA's boss. NBA is absolutely boss. Let me see if I can find this little photo real quick. It is on... Do, 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 Tom, I don't even know what's wrong with you anymore, honestly. What do you mean you don't know what's wrong with me? Pulisic. Have some shame Again, in the did, did I say I want Christian Pulisic? No. I don't care what stipulations, what trials and stipulations and tribulations you got on this one. This is just flat out wrong. Just full stop, this is wrong. There you go. I've got the image now. It's not very, it's not very big, but you'll have to do. You see if I can zoom it in a little bit. Can you zoom in a little bit, brother? There you go. That, that, that's about as far as I can zoom in. So you've that done a three-team trade. It's a three-team trade between Chelsea, Liverpool and Southampton. Chelsea end up picking up Diogo Jota, Roberto Firmino and Kyle Walker pieces. Liverpool pick up N'Golo Kante, Mason Mount and Christian Pulisic. And Southampton pick up Oxley chamberlains expiring contract, Fabio Carvalho and Trevor Challoway. So essentially, the winner of this trade is Chelsea Football Club. You're a Liverpool content creator and somehow Chelsea are the winner because they get Firmino, which they desperately need. They get Jota, which they desperately need. And they get Kyle Walker-Peters, which they desperately Sam, need. Has Sam, where you gone? Where the fuck's your camera gone? Why, why am I just looking Bro, at your wall? I spilled there coffee. Go. I'm so angry. I spilled right. coffee. Right. Okay. So, my reasoning... By the way, the winner trade, of this trade is hands down Chelsea. My reasoning for this trade is... Chelsea need the tackers. They get an expiring contract. You know NBA, so you'll you'll understand the same thing going with. They get an expiring contract in Firmino, who's got no guarantee they'll be signed. Diogo Jost is a big move for them. I'll admit that Diogo Jost is a big move. And Kyle Walker pieces, I think, I might be wrong, I think he's an expiring contract as well, but Southampton are a lower team. He moves to a contender in Chelsea. Liverpool end up picking up Mason Mount, who's a top target. Christian Pulisic, who is a step down from um, Diogo Jota. But yes. He He's an option. He gives depth, which is what they need. They pick up Kante, Kante, who's made from Weetabix. They pick up Kante, who, yes, is injury prone. But if they can keep fit and if they can manage minutes, instantly becomes Liverpool's best midfielder. And Southampton, with their model of younger players coming in, they pick up an expiring contract in Oxley chamberlain who they don't have to, re- have to re-sign. Southampton have a better end of the deal than us, by the way. Carvalho, who's a younger player, and Chalaba, who's a younger player. Yeah, Carvalho and Chalaba is better than what we're getting. The only other player I was debating coming to Liverpool was Havertz instead of Pulisic. That was oh. the only other one. My goodness gracious me. Thank- Every day I have to wake up and thank God you ain't our sporting director, honestly. We'd be so crap if you were a trap. I, I, I genuinely think... What do you mean if, Pulisic if would drive the thing, club? Do we just throw random guys who just have a little bit of ability and go like, "Oh, he's good. let's go get Look, signed, you, you've got, signed Scott McTominay." You, you've, you've got, you've got to understand. You've got to understand the vision for Christian Pulisic. You've got to understand it. So basically, Christian Pulisic, he's played on the clock before. He's worked with him before. He's a young player. He's got pace. He's 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 direct. He's injury prone. I'll admit, he's injury prone. But if Jurgen Klopp could keep him, fit, Havertz and Christian Pulisic. Pulisic. He'd work. He'd work. Havertz. Havertz and Christian, but yes, I do want. When I first come to the pool, first thing I'm doing is slapping the shit out. You know what then? You know what then, Hassan? What trade would you do? Which is real because this was a realistic trade, which I think all teams would accept. I would do a I'm trade not... with Man City. <laughs> For who? For who? For Kevin De Bruyne. And who do we give up to get Kevin De Bruyne? Great question. Exactly. This is a realistic trade. Curtis Jones. Fabinho. Yeah, th- Brother, we don't have first round picks. <laughs> Curtis we don't have Jones, capital Fabinho. we can give them. <laughs> One second. Curtis Jones, Fabinho, and Luis Diaz. Trent sooner... KDB Salah is the best right side on earth. You you would sooner trade Luis Diaz and Diogo Jota? No, but City will not take Jota. 
actually put Jota in there because City probably do take Jota. See, th- th- this is the thing. I understand that we lose Jota, who's a fantastic player in this trade, but this is the thing. I think Liverpool, Liverpool sort out all their problem issues with this. That's the thing with trades. It's all about solving problem issues. This is the truest super chat selection I've sent in all day. He passes the pace and power test, but he don't pass the not from... Hey, there's two other requirements, either from the either Dutch or from the Portuguese league. Those are our two requirements, you know? No, no, you see, I, I think he gets to work on the Jürgen Klopp previously pass. True, 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 true. Hey, that, I don't thing. know what it is with, with like Dutch players, you know? Imagine our summer, Coop Miners, Gravenberg... We're gonna be the fucking du- we're gonna be the Dutch national Jordan team. Now we're gonna wonder why we aren't winning shit. <laughs> anyway, and then we uh, wonder we, why we're bottle jobs, bro. The Dutch are known for bottling it all the time. We, we, we've run out, we've run out of tangent. Yeah. So tomorrow on my channel, I don't yes. know what time it is. I think it'll be about six. That that video is dropping. We've got five previous transfers that would have ended up being trades. One of which is Sterling, Sterling to City, and we've got five ones that if it was to happen this summer would be. Right now, so that is one of the ones that would happen this summer. I think Harry Kane's going to be working to another one as well. So you don't want to miss his content. You don't want to miss it. I, I, I probably listen. There's a few guys I vouch for on this YouTube thing. Tom Little is definitely one of them. Uh, you know, so make sure you go check it out. Big up everyone for the super chats once again. Big up to Selection. Big up to Ryan, Usman, Kosai, uh, Ice, Morshin, Felipe. Big up to you and big up to Felipe for knowing ball as well. And um, big up to to to. K, Vel, and Amin for the super chats. Everyone else, slap up the likes, subscribe. Tomorrow I might I might double under might do a call and show. So that 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 might be the plan. So big up to you guys. Love call, everyone call and talk on about how Christian Pulisic would be a fantastic trade for Liverpool football. Don't 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 do that, please. I, I don't need the headache. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>